in today's video we are going to see a second part of countries synchronous counter okay before going to start synchronous counter let's revise what about the asynchronous counter asynchronous counter is a counter in which we connect a number of flip flops in a cascaded form in this we are not applied clock simultaneously to all flip flops so what happens in the matter of clock the output of first flip flop is clock for the second the output of second flip flop is clock for the third one and so on but in the synchronous counters the we apply clock to the all flip flops simultaneously so the designing process of synchronous and asynchronous count is little bit different <clears throat> in the synchronous counters we have to follow some steps and according to that steps we have to implement our required circuit or logic diagrams so the steps are the first step we have to find out number of flip flops so based on the description of the problem or problem statements we have to determine the required number of flip flops so n is a number of states and n a small n is a number of flip flops so the equation n capital n is less than or equal to 2 raised to n where this small n is nothing but number of flip flops what is the meaning of number of states suppose we want to design a 3 bit counter so a 3 bit counter which counts from the 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
boolean expressions i hope so you understand these five steps are used to design or implementation of the synchronous counters let's take one example okay the question is that design <coughs> a synchronous 3 bit up counter uh, so this is a problem statement and we have to follow the process the step first determine the number of flip flops okay the in the problem itself we have to design a 3 bit counters for the 3 bit counter we required three flip flops one flip flop for each bit so the number of flip flops are required here three bit okay and this counter will be starts the counting into up direction so the counter will be begins from the 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 and it again returns to its original position so in this synchronous 3 bit counters counter is passes from 8 different states okay first state is 0 0 0 then second one is 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 then 0 1 1 and so on up to 1 1 1 so here number of states are nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so n is equal to 8 we know that if this is a mathematical representation to find out number of flip-flops in which we have the value of this digit which is 8 okay we have to find out n we assume that at n is equal to 3 the equation will be satisfied so by putting the value of n is equal to 3 the equation will be like this so we require three number of flip-flops okay the step two that is state diagram what is meaning of state diagram a state diagram is a graphical representation which in which the counter is passes from one state to another state that is a counter progresses okay so at initial condition the counter will be at zero 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 so first state of counter is zero 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 the next after this state it goes into zero zero one this second counting state the next it goes into zero one zero then zero one one The next one zero zero then one zero one 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 zero last one 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 and it again goes to the original position that is zero 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 so this is a state diagram of three bit up counter because here the counting value is start from the zero and is goes to increasing one zero one two three four five six seven and it's again to the zero so it is called as three bit up counter the next step three Okay, this is selection of flip flop and excitation table. So we select here JK flip flop and excitation table of 3 bit up counter is shown in below okay so definitely we 
select here jk flip flop and we have to draw the excitation tables so excitation table is nothing but the relation between the first which state present state then next state and then required excitations So present state we are going to use three flip flops. So there are three present state that is Q of three, Q of two, and Q of one. In the similar way, next state is also three states Q of three, Q of two, Q of one. This Q of one and this Q of one is present state and next state of the flip flop one, Q of two, and Q of two. Are the present state of flip flop two and next state of flip flop two, Q of three and this Q of three are the present as well as next state of flip flop three. So required excitations we use three flip flops. So there are six inputs which are Z three, K three, J two, K two, J one, and K one. Okay. This J one K one for the flip flop one, this J two K two for the flip flop two, and this J three K three for the flip flop three. Okay. So what is the present state initially? It will be zero zero zero. Okay. All flip flops are <coughs> zero value at the initial. Okay. Then what will be next state? It goes into zero zero one. So here, right? The next state is zero zero one. Okay. Then flip flop is comes here. So present state of this is zero zero one. Okay. Then what will be next state? It will be either switch into zero one zero because it is a up counter. So it will be zero one zero. Okay. Suppose flip flop's present condition is zero one zero. So definitely due to up counter, flip flop will be switch into next state is zero one one. Okay, then the present state will be zero one one. Then what will be next state? It will be one zero zero. Then if the present state is one zero zero, then next state is one zero one. If the present state is one zero one, then next is the one one zero, and so on. The last will. If one 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 is a present state, the next state will be zero zero zero. This is the present state and next state of the all flip flops. Okay, let's find out the required excitations. For that, we have to know about the excitation table of the JK flip flop. Okay, this is the excitation table of the JK flip flop, which is uh, comes from the Characteristic table, which is studied into conversion of flip flop point. This is a characteristic table, and from this characteristic table, we are going to implement a excitation tables. So, by considering this point, okay, let's find out Z three and K three value. Both are zero zero. That is Q of three present state as well as Q of three next state are zero zero. When present state and next state are zero zero, then J and K are zero x. So this condition will be zero x. Then next, again both are zero zero. So those are zero x. Then both are zero zero. So we can present it with the zero x. X is nothing but don't care conditions. Then this is a zero one condition. Present state in uh, output is zero. Next state is a one. So we write one x. J is the one value and x. K is the x value, so zero one we write here one x again. For the one one, we have to use x zero. For the one one, again x zero. For one one, again x zero, and for one zero, we have to use x one combination. Okay. 
this about the required excited inputs for the third flip flop in the similar way we find out the j2 k2 for that we have to use only q of 2 column in the present state as well as q of 2 column into next state so 0 0 when both are 0 0 then we have to use 0 x again this is a 0 1 so it will be 1 x for the 1 1 we have to use x 0 for 1 0 we have to use x 1 then for 0 0 we have to use 0 x then 0 1 we have to use 1 x and for 1 1 we have to use x 0 and for 1 0 we have to use x 1 these are the excited inputs for the second flip flop that is j2 k2 okay then last one that is j1 and k1 for that we have only analyzed the column of q1 in the next state as well as q1 into present state so what is value 0 1 so for the 0 1 we have to use 1 x for this value 1 0 1 0 x1 for 0 1 1 x for 1 0 x1 for 0 1 1 x for 1 0 x1 0 1 1 x and for 1 0 x 1 these all are the about the excitation table for the jk flip-flops okay then we we'll go through next step is that finding of the k map step 4 minimal expressions so to find out the k map for the minimal expressions we have to know about the excitation table and its inputs and outputs basically if you observe carefully in the excitation tables the value of j1 and k1 are almost x and 1 so for the j1 and k1 we can write 1 because when we solve uh, when we draw the k map for the j1 and k1 we found that there is a grouping of octal into the k map so when we found the octal all on the grouping so we can treat it as a value 1 so we have to draw the k map for j2 k2 j3 and k3 with the corresponding outputs like q of 3 q of 2 and q of 1 okay so to find out the k map we write here decimal value 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because the k map is nothing but the connection of the squares or cells and each cell having its specific digital value so we have to write here different decimal values which will be very useful for the implementation of k map for the given the specific number to the each and every cell so find out the draw the k map we read we need three variable k map this is a k map for the j3 k3 we'll find out the min terms for the first j3 this for the k3 this is a j2 and this for the k of 2 okay so for the j3 we have to find out the k map and the terms are terms are for the j3 so go through into j of 3 column okay here is the one where 3 right where 
वन एंड फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन वी आर कंसिडरिंग एज अ डोंट केयर कंडीशंस सो विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस वी कैन ड्रॉ द के एम एफ फॉर द जे थ्री सो देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप वी हैव टू फॉर्म अ ग्रुपिंग सो ओनली दिस पेयर विल बी पॉसिबल बिकॉज रिमेनिंग ऑल आर जीरोज सो जे ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू ओनली कॉमन टर्म्स आर बोथ ऑफ दिस विच आर क्यू ऑफ टू एंड क्यू ऑफ वन ओके देन वॉट अबाउट के ऑफ थ्री गो थ्रू इन टू दिस कॉलम ऑफ द के ऑफ थ्री राइट फॉर द वन विच इज प्रेजेंट हियर डेसिम वैल्यू सेवन एंड एक्स दैट इज डोंट केयर कंडीशन विल बी प्रेजेंट एट जीरो वन थ्री टू एंड फोर फाइव सिक्स आर डोंट केयर कंडीशंस सो इट विल बी जीरो 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 सो अगेन वी फॉर्म ग्रुपिंग विच फॉर्म्स अ पेयर सो क्यू ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू क्यू ऑफ टू क्यू ऑफ वन एंड देन फॉर द जे टू के टू वी स्टडी जे टू कॉलम इन विच जीरो विल बी प्रेजेंट इन टू जीरो एज वेल एज फोर देन एक्स विल बी वन इज प्रेजेंट एज वन एज वेल एज फाइव ओके एंड रिमेनिंग ऑल आर डोंट केयर कंडीशंस सो विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस डोंट केयर कंडीशंस इन दिस वी कैन ब्रिंग फॉर्म a chord of four cells from this chord we can find out only one common term which is this one which is nothing but q of 1 okay in the last with the finding of q of 2 for the q of 2 0 will be present at 2 as well as 0 will be present at 6 1 will be present at Seven as well as three, and remaining all are don't care conditions. So again, we can form here chord, and from this chord we can brought one common term, and which is Q one. So Q of K of two is equal to Q of one again. So this is about the getting of Boolean expressions, which will very helpful for the implementation of. step 5 that is a logic diagram so step 5 is a logic diagram so for the logic diagram we have to use three zk flip flops i will draw the diagram first and i will explain it later this is a logic diagram in which j2 is nothing but q of 1 And q k of two is nothing but q of one. So we connect q of one output at the k two as well as c two. Next for the z three, we need k q of two as well as q of one. So this of q of one, this is a q of two, and then we are added together and it is connected to j of three. In the similar way, for the k of three, we need same expression. So we use this as an Q of three. In this way, this is the implementation of three-bit up counter by using synchronous way, in which clocks are applied simultaneously. This is a positive edge triggered flip flops. Okay, in which the positive edge of the each and every clock, the bits will be output bit bits will be changed according to applying of the clocks. Okay, let's. I will continue. We will continue with the next point of synchronous counter with the one more designing problem. Thank you very much. Example, which are based on the designing of synchronous counter. In this, we are going to design more six gray code counter. Okay, the statement is says that the counter which counts first six steps or states of the gray code. So. 
a gray code is nothing but uh, suppose this is a binary code 0101 and I am going to convert into binary then we have a gray then we have to just write down first sheet as it is this with this is 1 this x or this is 1 this x or this is 1 so this is called as a gray code so uh, if you observe carefully in the first topic binary to gray and gray to binary for that we have to find out first six steps of the steps of the gray code so i will not go detail the f i will just write first six steps of the gray code first one is zero 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 second one is zero zero one next zero one one then <coughs> zero one zero then one one zero and one 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 these are the first six steps of the gray code okay then if you observe carefully we want to uh, uh, we want to find out the number of flip flops which are required for the implementation of this counter so here n is equal to 6 we have to know the value of n so we will assume value of n is equal to 3 okay so as per our equation 2 raised to n we will put this value in in this equation it would be use it so we need three flip flops for the implementation of this problem statements okay then step second we have to draw the state diagram okay what is the meaning of state diagram state diagram is nothing but changing of the states of the counter from one state to another state that is this is a uh, graphical representation for example suppose first counter is in the 0 0 0 then we'll apply the clock then it moves to the 0 0 1 this is second state okay then it applies the counter clock then it moves to the 0 1 1 the third state okay then it goes to the 0 1 0 then it goes to the 1 1 0 it goes to the 1 1 1 and then it back to the original positions these are the state diagram of the gray code <coughs> see uh, more six gray code counters okay then step three is nothing but type of flip flop and excitation table okay no doubt in the problem we have to go, we are going to use t flip flop which is given in the problem statement and for that t flip flop we want to design excitation table so excitation table requires first ps nothing but present state we are going to use three flip flops so we need q of 3 q of 2 q of 1 then next states are of the three flip flops are q of 3 q of 2 q of 1 and the required excitations are these are the <coughs> t3 t2 and t1 okay let's find out the first q3 <coughs> present state assume present state will be 0 0 0 if you apply the clock then it moves to the 0 0 1 okay suppose 0 0 1 is the present state and if we apply the clock it moves to the 0 1 1 assume 0 1 1 is a present state then it goes to the 0 1 0 next state if 0 1 0 is in present state then it goes to the 1 1 0 next state okay if the 1 1 0 is the present state then it next state is 1 1 1 and if 1 1 1 is the present state then next state would be 0 0 0 okay in this way we find out the different values of the present state and the next state by with the help of this 
state diagram okay without wasting too much time we have to know, know that what is the excitation table of the t flip flop okay this is the excitation table of the t flip flop when both inputs are zero that is present state and next state t is also zero when zero one combination it will be one for one zero combination it one and one one it will be zero so we will analyze first q3 column <coughs> both are zero so t3 will be zero both are zero t3 will be zero both are zero t3 zero for zero one we have to write one for one one we have to write zero and for one zero we have to write one this is about t3 okay for the t2 we will consider this column with next state both are zero so zero for zero one one for one one zero for one one again zero for one one zero for one zero one okay then next for q of one zero one 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 zero one zero one zero 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 this is zero one 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 zero these are sorry one zero one these are the related with the t1 okay i hope so you understand the excitation table which is required for the implementation of mode six counter okay with the help of this excitation table we are going to draw the minimal expression with the help of kmap for the t3 t2 and t1 okay this is structure of kmap and we have to find out the uh, bullying expression with the help of this excitation table and the kmap okay list <coughs> so first for the t3 we have to find out the number of ones where the number of ones are present okay so number of ones will be present at 3 and 5 so at 3 and 5 we have to go through ones okay this is sorry so there are some uh, mistake this is 0 this is 1 this is 3 this is 2 6 and 7 so at point 2 as well as at point 7 we have to write 1 and remaining for all that is there don't care conditions because 5 is not present so it will be don't care conditions 6 is 0 so it will be 0 and remaining all are 0 so we'll make first pair as well as one single so the building expression of this is q3 q1 plus q3 complement q2 and q1 complement okay in the similar way for t2 and t1 for t2 we have to take one as well as seven and we are considering don't care condition of five and remaining all are zeros so from this to entire we are getting this term to common q2 bar plus q1 and from this we are only q of 3 and from this we are getting q of 1 so t2 is equal to this one and for t1 is equal to we are getting at 0 at 3 at 7 at 6 and remaining these are the don't care conditions so <coughs> we have to find out first car the this is a pair and this is also pair okay so for t1 is equal to we are getting q3 q2 q1 plus q2 complement q1 complement okay these are the minimal expressions which is implemented from the kmap okay so we need first three flip flops okay just i will draw first diagrams of three flip flops okay this is the t1 t2 and t3 three flip flops for the t1 we need q2 q2 into q1 plus q2 bar and q1 so we'll just take direct inputs here we'll assume that whatever the logic required for that implementation we already implemented so this will be q, q of 2 q of 3 it will be q of 2 q of 1 and this will be q 
of two bar and q of one bar which is for the t of one okay for the t of two we need q2 complement okay so this will be q2 complement q1 this will be q of three q1 and this will be t2 okay then for last of t of three we need q of three q of one then q of three bar q of two and q of one bar okay in this way we are implemented this all the logic diagram <coughs> in which way we deliver this example these uh, equations for this suppose q of 3 and q of 2 is nothing but and gate okay this q of 3 will take q of 3 will use not gate we take one more input q of 2 and we need one more input q of 1 and we are ended together okay and these are again out together so we are getting this equation okay in this way we are able to draw or design such kind of diagrams okay i hope so you understand in which way synchronous counters are implemented and asynchronous counters are implemented very important note that asynchronous counters are used for the continuous counting process but synchronous counters are used for the continuous as well as discontinuous order of the numbers thank you very much